What is up guys? Coming at you on this beautiful Monday evening. Uh, it's a little bit brisk outside. It's been a little bit windy today too, uh, but no matter, you know. Just doing my thing. Uh, and I wanted to show you kind of what else is going on here. One of the other projects that's going on. So uh, I'm outside right here because uh, I've done something uh, to change the look of the front of my house. And uh, I would like to show you so here it is now i built this bay window a few weeks ago actually but i'm just not getting around to showing it off to you guys uh the bricks are not permanent don't think they are um but this is a really cool touch i think to the outside of the house now i made everything custom here uh designed everything custom built it all myself and um, got the windows you know obviously fabbed up uh, for a custom fit uh, and I had those all made at the same time as all of the other windows on the house um, I don't know why I just showed you the garage because there's no windows that I needed to make for the garage door but on the side of the house there are um, so yeah uh, this is all new glass so uh, completely updated the glass in the house from single pane to double pane, low E. Um, and a lot of you will probably be like, well, why would you spend the extra dollar for the low E? Well, they weren't that expensive to begin with. So when you buy in bulk like that, and also uh, for the particular glass manufacturer, window manufacturer, uh, based in, yet again, Charlotte, uh, these were not terribly expensive so it was really good especially when you're installing yourself so uh, I did make these corbels custom um, excuse my gas it's purging right now um, from the heater system but uh so I, I built these corbels custom as well um, these are going to be stained the color of the uh, columns that are gonna go on this concrete pad. This concrete pad is also new. I poured it uh, over and extended and expanded upon the existing pad. So this is a bigger pad than the original one. The original one was probably that far in right here and uh, maybe like like that. So much smaller in comparison uh, to the pad that is already there. Uh, I think it's going to look great with uh, some stone column bases and square columns that are stained going to a porch overhang. And uh, I'll get rid of that tacky light right there and uh, put something real uh, in the overhang. Uh, I haven't really decided kind of what style we're going with yet, but it's going to be pretty good. There's my wife, Dandy. <laughs> uh, hanging out. Uh, we just got back from getting paint actually at the Lowe's. Um, let me tell you, paint is expensive and uh, but it sure isn't as expensive as paying someone else to paint for you. So we are trying to get hustled up this week and get the whole house painted. This is going away. This color right here, that's going away. And uh, I think I'm gonna just save it as a surprise for you to look at when we actually get around to painting it and the finished product and everything. It should be good. I got myself a new uh, airless paint sprayer um, from the Harbor Freight because, you know, I'm a cheapo, but I'm just trying to get uh, one house done. You know, it's not like uh, I'm trying to do multiple houses at once or uh, multiple houses, period. Uh, it wasn't really that bad to purchase the equipment. Um, I mean, everything uh that i've done uh for paint and getting prepped uh the materials and everything still under a thousand for everything the whole house outside so we're good um we are going to i'm going to spend the whole day uh tomorrow and i'm going to pressure wash the whole house get all this nasty dirt off and everything from uh splash up and uh 
you know, hopefully get some of this mortar off that kind of just chucked out the window in my bathroom. That's the master bathroom right there. And um, we will uh, go from there. I think I'm going to give the house probably a couple of days to dry. It should be clear this whole week. Um, been a little windy today though, so I'm glad I'm not painting in wind. I hope that it's not going to be windy on the days that I actually paint. Probably get around to it on Thursday or Friday. And uh, we also got some samples for the master bedroom and bathroom. And uh, we're going to paint some samples on there. Kind of get accustomed to having color in there. Uh, I know it's purple in the master bathroom right now because of the uh, water and mold resistant sheetrock that I have on there. Uh, I like it, but I think I'll like a different color better. So I will show you guys what we end up going with there, obviously, at a different time, hopefully soon. And um, so yeah, that's, that's pretty much what's going on right now. Um, but I wanted to show you the gorgeous bay window that we built here. Um, I think it looks excellent, honestly. I think that it is very much a eye pleaser and uh, a great addition to the house. And yet again, it's, it's very cheap to do if you do it for yourself. So um, if you got skill and you got design knowledge, you can do this. So anyways, I'll catch you guys later. Uh, it's been good talking to you again for a minute. And um, yeah, I think... Uh, we're gonna get rocking and rolling with some painting this week, uh, among other things, of course, and uh, a bunch of sheetrock, obviously, still, and uh, get it rolling. So, uh, also, before I leave you guys, I forgot. Uh, I wanted to promote my wife's YouTube channel that she's doing here for a minute. I know I mentioned it briefly last time for a second, but uh, she is doing a new channel and I would like you to hop over there uh, as soon as she gets up and running. Um, I don't think that she's got anything up yet, but she will sometime very soon in the near future. So if you could give her a shout out, that'd be really good. I'm gonna promote her on my YouTube channel. She's gonna promote me vice versa. So I think that uh, you're gonna like what she's got to offer and um, she's very talented at what she does. So hop on over there when she gets up and running. I will be sure to announce that for y'all whenever the time is right. And uh, yeah, so hope you guys have are having a good week so far. I know it's Monday, back to the daily grind. And I uh, hope you stay safe out there. I hope that you take time to enjoy your day each and every day. And I hope that you guys have fun, uh, especially with the holidays coming up. So I look forward to seeing you guys watching my videos uh, in the future, and if you are new, uh, please drop a like and subscribe to my channel, please, if you like the content that I'm bringing out. I don't just do house stuff, I do backpacking stuff too, and basically whatever I kind of feel is uh, worthy to make YouTube videos about. So this is just my hobby uh, in a way that I'm using to document what I'm doing with the house and also just to you know, get myself out there and uh, see if I can meet anyone uh, fun and interesting and that I could collaborate with maybe sometime down the road uh, on some, you know, content. I, I have no idea what I'm doing right now. I'm just doing what I like. So uh, either way, you know, I'm fine doing this by myself or if someone uh, is doing the same thing, uh, it'd be really cool to get some tips and tricks and stuff uh, for what they do and uh, to just share experiences in life, man. That's what it's all about for me. So hope y'all are uh, enjoying the experiences that I'm sharing with you and I uh, hope that you get a little bit of knowledge out of this house stuff too if you're looking to do that kind of stuff as well. But yeah, uh, give your boy a shout out and drop a like on this video and also uh, please look out for Dandy's videos in the near future. Stay safe.